everyone to another episode of the Adept is Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes. My co-host is Bricky. Our co-co-host is our good friend Kiriath. But before we get too far into that, if you enjoyed today's episode, head on over to patreon.com slash Ridiculous and consider supporting the podcast. You can get access to Discord, uh, bloopers if they happen, uh, our wonderful uh, Cadian Cat Boy HD poster uh you got to be the 15 dollars tier to get it though but yeah patreon.com slash adeptus ridiculous and uh bricky will tell you about the next book club and all the sick merch at orchid8.com a new book club is going to be gaskell throck uh was it just gaskell throck or is it gaskell the full name Matt, mike throck whatever um gaskell prophet of the wah is coming around uh by nate crowley that'll be our next one probably finish that one a little bit earlier than normal because we took so long in the krieg one uh, and for merch hit up orchid8.com check out the description grab some stuff shirts hoodies stickers etc and uh yeah all should be good dk nice. there's a man in my walls oh no again again it's, and it's not you this time men out of your wall well you told me it's not shy this time either you told me you weren't going to tell people about that. You were the one who chose to be in the walls. Yeah, but I just wanted to be cool, and I thought it was going to be a secret, and now I'm, now I'm embarrassed. No, oh, no, the only person who was able to keep it a secret was Shy, because she's two feet tall and vat grown. Ah, Shy can't keep a secret. DK, tell it's us about the other man in the walls. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, we have our wonderful friend of the show, Kiriath is here, uh... Because Kiriath is going to be, he's going to be leading the episode today. Kiriath has got some real ridiculous stuff to talk about with it today. I don't know what it is because I am perpetually in the dark. I should live on Nostromo. Uh, so Kiriath, what's up, dude? Hello. I was going to try and do a little, like a, a voice in, like a little voice in the walls thing. And pretend I was actually in the <laughs> wall. But I didn't know whether that would work, and then I just did it anyway, which kind of renders that whole thing totally pointless. But, yeah, hello, I'm out, out of the wall, face is through, stuck it through, like in The Shining, but less angry eye, more like, <laughs> more tired than than uh, than angry. We're going to talk about the tanks of the Space Marines today. Cause we've oh, covered more tanks. Tanks more of the tanks, Imperial let's Guard. Go. And let's face it, the only thing better than Imperial Guard tanks are... Similar tanks, but manned by genetically engineered super soldiers with uh, with questionable parenting behind them. So I figured that's a that's that's a good next one to do after the after the previous one. Are we uh, well, including the Horus Heresy tanks as well, or is this mainly oh, the, uh, yes. the modern we've, day? We've got oh, to include some of the Horus Heresy stuff because there's good, there's good. at least one in there that we're, we'll get to it, but it's it's easily. I think possibly the stupidest thing that's ever been made, but in, Ooh, a, in the best tough. possible way. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a high bar. It's the pretty stupidest high. Thing ever made in Fort. That's a high bar. There's been some dumb shit. So I, ooh, I'm excited. It's true. Tell there's, me more. I say that actually. There's like three things on this list that it could be classed as like the stupidest thing ever made. But this specific one, it, they've tried to make it serious, which is why I think it's even stupider than the rest of it. But. We Excellent. need to build up to it, because it's it's also massive. If you're going to start tanks, you've got to start with the Rhino, because it is the most widely used and most like popular platform when it comes to Space Marine stuff, unless we're you know talking uh, Primaris stuff, because you can't use Primaris Marines in it, because it's the Rhino. The humble, small Rhino that, for some reason, <laughs> nothing above a normal Space Marine can fit in. <laughs> Just... Don't think about it too much. They can't stoop. You can't fit six primaries in there. No, it's firstborn only. It's it's the it's the the uh, uh, gameplay versus versus lore bullshit. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whatever. There's got to be a little hunched in there. It's got to be crouched to Ted. You could wedge four I mean, of them in, right? Have them bent over. It'd be fine. <laughs> Wouldn't be comfortable, yeah, but it'd be, it'd be fine. <laughs> That looks like the most basic tank I've ever seen. Shy posted the picture of it. That just looks looks like a very basic tank. Uh, this is a little, little on the small side, sure, but um, yeah, this is is a tank. It's, it's literally just like a, a, just a transport. Box. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, just a it, box they hide in, they hide in metal boxes. <laughs> would, would that be more considered more of like an APC, if anything, because it doesn't really have a, any real guns besides like a 
Yeah, it, it, technically, it's like it's it, it's more of a more of an APC than anything else, but it's also a platform for a bunch of other actual tanks, like artillery and actual like mainline battle tanks and stuff. Um, so the, mm. the the kind of basic your standard Rhino has just got ten lads in it, and it just charges forwards and they get out, and that's literally all it does. It can go alleg- allegedly allegedly seventy kilometers an hour on a road. <laughs> Which oh my god! It's kind of Ow. impressive for something that looks like that, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, as someone that knows nothing about like military tanks and stuff, what does APC stand for? So uh, armored personnel car- carrier. Oh, I knew it had I mean, to be I, some sort of personal transport thing, but uh, as a as a dweeb that doesn't get out and watches anime all day, I I had to ask. There has to have been an APC in one of the animes you've watched. There's no way. Probably, but they probably say. didn't call it an APC, right? They I, probably called it like, a, oh yeah, this is a, this is just a personnel carrier or something. Oh, so they like they called the PC then? Wow. <laughs> everyone getting the PC. We're going. Let's. We need, we need to make a move. PC. Everyone getting the PC principle. A PC is just a fucking bus. <laughs> Get the wife who's in my PC now. Yeah. Wow, oh, that nice. All right, excellent. <laughs> Rhino's a lot of fun though. It's it, I they have in like a ton of other space marine based things like the like like sisters have a Rhino. There's, yeah. Um, so it's like it's massively popular because it's just the most easily re- like reproducible thing. Um and so the sisters of battle have a version. Well, they've got a couple of versions. One that's got a giant pipe organ on the back because of course they do it fires oh, missiles yeah. in fairness it's not it's not just a pipe organ it also fires missiles at people so that's you know that's pretty standard um one that's got a massive flamethrower on the front it it d- hold on you are telling me the pipe organ the organs fire missiles i am positive yep. i showed you this i would be i would be sinned if i did not show you this it's like my favorite fucking that. thing D- does the, it, does no, it granted, find, like, do, is there an actual organ there that they play keys and as they play keys I on am, the model I'm there so is an actual sister of battle playing a like organ keyboard I am, oh, I am so mad at you right now DK I literally <laughs> this is like my favorite model I've ever painted it's so good that's amazing I don't think you've shown me that I feel like I would remember that yeah, it's called the Exorcist, and actually, yeah, the control panel does look like keys. But I remember there's a stratagem in game where, like, called devastating refrain, and, and so like, like, despite the fact that they actually do fire missiles, they are playing music, and I guess like the oh music fucks with Chaos's head or something. So if you're around it, you hear like the the screeching of the organ. It's like ah, the dark gods. That is amazing. Although I imagine it would sound terrible because the missiles are blocking up the organs. You're not gonna hear any of it. Just You're right. Missiles. How dare we not talk about realism in this situation? I know. Come on, this is 40k, the got, home of realism. You've got to make sure that whilst you're firing missiles out of your pipe organ, that the pipe organ is also audible, or it's just you know, it's you know, you got you got to have the full experience, or it's just not worth it. You Those get it. Need Carry to know they're it. gonna die. Yes, yes. Those look awesome, though. I gotta say, those are some fucking snazzy looking tanks that the sisters it, got. Anyway, typical Bricky faction to take a Space Marine episode and pull towards sisters. Continue, carry on. <laughs> to be fair, they are they are kind of they are cooler. Let's be honest. They, yeah, yes, they, they are. Rad. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're really fucking rad. cool. Yeah, just, you, no one likes to admit it. Everyone wants to think that Space Marines are the best, but they're they're not. Sorry, they're not. So yeah, the You're sisters really going after Bricky's heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 we'll talk later, my friend. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> Shy seems Any, impressed by this. Um, so yeah, the, always unimpressed. There's, there's a few Sisters of Battle variants. So you've got the the one that fires the uh, the missiles, the Immolator, the Exorcist, the Repressor, which is also kind of cool. And now they've got a Castigator battle tank, which is like a Predator. So based on the Rhino chassis again, but they've got a cooler main gun. Basically, they just got the cooler version of a of what a Predator is. Um, so in terms of the uh, in terms of the Space Marines, like. They really hammer a lot of stuff onto the Rhino chassis. You've got the Rhino itself, which has got the transport capacity of 10. Then you've got a Razorback, which is a Rhino with a gun sticking out of the top hatch, or like replacing the top hatch. So you can you can fit less guys in there, but it can have like a LAS cannon or an assault cannon or something on the top. There's the Predator, which is just a tank with, I think, 
There's not actually a huge number of different uh, weapon loadouts for the Predator, is there? It's one of those ones where you've got a choice of kind of anti-personnel or anti-tank. Apart from the yeah. Blood Angels, you can cover it in Flamers because, of course, they can. Oh, the Ball <laughs> Predator, of course. The, I, the the Predator, I think it's just, it's like auto cannons or like the, the Twin Last Cannon. And there's not a whole lot else past that, I don't think. Yeah, it's not that customizable, which is, I still, I find a little bit weird. Given that there's like there's more land raider variants than there are predator variants, which feels weirdly off. Like you'd think there'd be a bunch of different ones for the predator, but it's still cool. It's still a cool tank, but it is also still mostly a rhino. So <laughs> it's not massive, but you can stick a bunch of las cannons on it and point it at armored things and watch them melt, which is nice. Um, the to be honest though, the, the best the best for the rhino, it's. It's got to be the Vindicator. The Vindicator is the ah. best version of that chassis because it's, it's just a, a rhino. Fun take. It's such a it's so fucking stubby. Just a massive, <laughs> just a massive cannon. That's all it is. It's just a rhino with a massive cannon sticking out of the front of it, and that's It'll, your lot. Bulldozer sled on it. Yeah. It's quality though. The only thing that's better, I would argue, than the uh, than the just plain Vindicator, is the Vindicator Destroyer. Because that is basically that same that same that same version, but with a massive. Oh my god! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that like a like a quad melter barrel or something? So that is that's the Vindicator Laser Destroyer array. So it's just oh, basically like yes. a massive four barreled gigantic las cannon <laughs> sticking out of the front of a of an of an. It's a Horus Heresy era demolisher, but you cannot tell me that that isn't the coolest version of that. What the oh hell? hell yeah! What a sweet name for a gun too. Holy shit! Um, I want to. I want to. I want to read the rules of this thing. What is this thing? Laser volley cannon, heavy three nine minus three d three plus three or or overcharged ten minus four flat six. Oh lord! It's quality. Oh, I love it. Is, is that good? Is that, is that it, good? Brookie? Flat flat six damage in this game is pretty fucking rare. Um, okay. that's that's. That's hilarious. It's just such a big bad gun. It's so <laughs> they just took the biggest gun they could fit in it and just rammed it into the front and went, off you go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> just point it in that direction and watch things disappear. It's similar to that, though, there is another Horus Heresy vehicle, which is, it doesn't look like it's based on the Rhino, but it technically kind of is. And that's the, the Sabre. So there is something oh, called a Sabre yeah. Strike Tank, which is like a one-man tank. And you can have them oh. as anti-personnel, you can have them as anti-armor, and they are super, super weird. They are weird-looking vehicles, because they, they're they mostly like the Rhino, but they like reduce the armor on the front of it, and take, like, kind of, the, the slope of the, uh, of the track changes at the front as well. Oh, yeah, it does, by quite a bit. But it's it's it listed a like as the, um, a uh, as a Rhino variant, so it looks a little bit like the Spartan with like the way the tracks have changed. Yeah, it does. Um, but that's that's really bizarre. They have this giant opening for the gun that like looks like someone can just ye eat a grenade in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like it looks like it's made of paper. Frankly, it looks like a very much a okay. We'll just get a bunch of these, stick a bunch of lads in. We might get two back, but as long as they do something in the meantime, that's great. I mean, there's only like there's the driver's seat, and that's it. <laughs> so you're not really, you can't be expecting that much out of it. Also, I like the fact that the, the one shy posted has got two Volkite as the uh, as the weapon loadout. Yeah, yeah, typical. Clearly, the what's best a, version what's a of that. again? It's uh, it's it's currently it's like the strongest weapon you'd use in the tabletop. Ah, okay. So this this whoever's using this tank is a sweaty tryhard. Uh, I don't think you can even use it on the tabletop. At least not in oh. a 40k variant. It's very much a Horus Heresy thing. But it is... Yeah. I, I quite like it. It's kind of cool. It's silly. But it is It is like a cool little tank. Um, it, although, yeah, like I say, it looks like it's made of paper, though. Which is kind of a downside. <laughs> it looks like there's so many weak spots on it. Also, having hardly any armor on the front tracks, like less than you would on a normal Rhino, is uh, is a choice. Given that that surely just makes it more prone to being disabled, but yeah. I'm sure they knew what they were doing. I'm sure it's fine. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, it I is mean, 40K. There's weirder looking weak stuff, I guess. You know, it's, you got the guard. Well, the guard are just more numbers. But, I mean, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just put it back together. It can't be that difficult, right? Technology's super no. easy in 40k, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hey. Oh yeah, then hey. we didn't forget about it whatsoever. <laughs> just get it. Just get a couple of ad mac. They'll put it right back together. Now there it's is really a uh, there is a, a Razorback. The Razorback is not. It's like the Rhino. It's it's a, just a transport, but the Razorback's got a gun on top. It's otherwise not that interesting. There's not a huge amount you can do with them outside of maybe give them two different weapons, which is kind of fun. There is one variant though, which. Hands down is, I think, the silliest version of anything on a Rhino chassis, which uh, <laughs> which is the Razorback Ricarius. So this is a Blood Ravens thing. Oh my god, where... is that... Uh, uh... Sorry, no, continue, please. Keep going. <laughs> where they decided to stick hurricane bolters on the side of the Razorback, having put assault cannons on the top of it, and the shield from a demolisher on the front of it. So basically, this has got... I mean, this has effectively got the same loadout as one of the Land Raider variants, but the Land Raider is a massive tank, and this is still just a rhino. <laughs> this is... They kitted it out! That is so much darker. Oh my god. <laughs> out of, out of such a small vehicle as well. It's still just a rhino. <laughs> That's all it is, but it's just like... Ah, we've got a bunch of guns. Let's just slap them on there. It'd be fine. Let's see what happens. Uh, um, That's the model of 40k. DK, I to make it some perspective, that gun on the top is an assault cannon. Um, I think Talos used one of those at the end of the Night Lord books when they had the Terminator armor. Oh, he had like the big the big rotary cannon. So there's two of them up there, and a hurricane bolter is three or is six bolters strapped oh. together on the left side of that thing and then there's another one on the other side so it's, it's a little bit of firepower yeah that's a you know it's a little bit that thing would um, just slaughter infantry <laughs> <laughs> i feel like the entire interior of that is just it's just ammunition there's nothing else in there they can't it's fit anything feeds. else in <laughs> is there any reason not to kit out a rhino with like guns and stuff because like there's all these variations is there any reason to just roll in a rhino like is it going to hold more troops and that's why you wouldn't put any uh guns or a big missile launcher on the back or something like that is it just because it's a better transport and holds more people pretty much yeah the different the different like variants are just geared for different things so like the rhino covered in guns is just the predator tank because it's still the rhino yeah. chassis but they stick sponsons where the side doors are and it has a, a proper turret as opposed to like a stripped down turret like on the top of that thing um so it kind of goes all the way from pure transport capacity all the way up to kitted out with a bunch of weapons and so it's kind of like there's lots of space in between for it to be really specific so things like the mm. whirlwind for the rhino like that's proper backline artillery there's also an anti-air version of it as well, which doesn't have transport capacity but can shoot down aircraft. So it's like the, I think it's probably the most like adaptable kind of vehicle chassis that there is really. I said alongside the Chimera for the Imperial Guard, like they both kind of fill the same mm. thing of we can either fill it full of lads or fill it full of ammo for the massive gun on top. Yeah, it seems like it's like the uh, the Mister Potato Head of tanks, where you can just <laughs> interchange the. The little bits and bobbles for what you need, whether you're happy, sad, or kill all the heretics. I'm gonna I, uh, use that from now on. <laughs> I, think, I think we're I think we're always in kill all the heretics mode. Fair well, enough. actually, actually, these are used by the Chaos Space Marines as well, so I guess we're we're not quite in that situation. But, but sometimes you want different ears, or maybe a hat, or a quirky smile <laughs> while you're killing heretics, right? You, you know, you know what? You damn, you you damn right. <laughs> The Mr. Potato Head of Tanks. That's going to be on the next, like, uh, like the next recruitment poster. <laughs> Would you like to drive a Rhino? <laughs> it's it's the Mr. Potato Head of Tanks. <laughs> Sign up today. I would love to see the imagery on that poster. <laughs> so, uh, someone's got to draw that poster, right? Someone's got to be <laughs> some good forties oh, propaganda yeah. stuff. Perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All if, right. if if we don't get obliterated with Mr. Potato Head tank art by next week, I'm gonna be so upset. Twitter. 
I, oh, oh, I, I, I so upset Twitter, he says, as if... Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shy was picking up food she ordered for a second, and she came back to this conversation, so... Don't worry about it, Shy. You'll you'll hear all about it when you uh, edit this uh, monstrosity of an episode. So you're fine. Don't worry about it. You'll to be fair, it. the crossover between 40k and Mr. Potato Head is like it's surprisingly broad. It, it happens a lot. You wouldn't think it, but it definitely does. And that's not just <laughs> <laughs> something what? that's come out of this randomly. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ever read. That's all I ever read about 40k. Just, you know, Mr. Potato Head integration, all that sort of thing. It's it's, it's, oh, it's oh. really common. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad we've moved past political commentary. We've gone straight into Mr. Potato Head. All right, this is fucking <laughs> stupid. What's the next tank, you guys? <laughs> so, we mentioned it earlier. The, the, the next step up from the Rhino is the Land Raider. And it's also, wow. I would add, my easily my favorite tank. Because it's, it's like, it is classic 40k it's a giant box on wheels covered in highly destructive weaponry it can also transport terminators which makes it immediately Ooh. massively cool so it's super heavy armored it's great it's it's so good and they've made a shed load of weird variants for it so there's a bunch of different types of land raider some of which by the way i don't think you'll ever see on the tabletop but they exist, and that's enough for me. <laughs> like, you might never see it. All right. But there is there is a version of the Land Raider that uh, that has eight las cannons on it because you Whoa. need eight las cannons. <laughs> oh, wait is it is it two like quad las cannons or something? So it's the it's the Land Raider Terminus Ultra, and uh, it's got <laughs> it's got the twin las cannons on the front <laughs> turret. Yes. It's got. <laughs> Twin last cannons on either fuck? side, and then an extra two last cannons, because you can never have too many last cannons, right? I thought they would just put quad last cannons on. Why they put two <laughs> tiny little last cannons in the firing line of the two <laughs> smaller last cannons? To be fair, this is quite old. Like we're we're, we're kind of plumbing the, plumbing the depths of some of the older stuff okay. for some of these, but it's just the fact that they it's just the fact that they're real. I just love that it's real because it shouldn't be. That's that's stupid. We can all acknowledge that's really dumb. But yeah. look how many last cannons it's got. <laughs> that's the best thing yeah, about it. Yeah, but your your opinion is 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 moot because look at how many last cannons. <laughs> Forget reality. Look at how many last cannons it's got. I mean, you uh, you say you say like it's blocking its own firing lines as though that's a bad thing. <laughs> Although it definitely, I mean, you can It'll only go down six one. last cannons real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you can only fire one of the rear two on either side so that you don't eliminate the one in front of it, in which case there was no point having that front one in the first place. No matter how you look at it, it's not a good design, but someone made it, and that that just makes me happy. And there's, there's like quite a few of these. <laughs> so there's a Blood Angels version because, you know, flamers. You've got to have flamers. So they did the uh, Angel oh, Infernus, oh my God. which oh. is <laughs> which is <laughs> just a Land Raider covered in flamers because of, yeah. <laughs> is that basically say a Land Raider Redeemer, but with two extra flamers and then a multi-melt on top? Yes, that's pretty much exactly what that is. Um, <laughs> so stupid. It the really The Salamanders is. are sweating. Oh yes, oh, I was. Yes. I was gonna. I was gonna. I was gonna ask DK this actually, because I'm sure Bricky already knows the answer to this question. I but do. Where do you think the name Land Raider came from? If you had to take a wild guess as to why it's named the Land Raider, what would you go for? Well, I mean, it starts off as a troop transport, so I would assume that it, you know, brings the raiders on land to their destination. So it's a land raider. Because it's a transport, and it raids, and it goes across the land all scoopity boopity. Um, so yeah, land raider takes a lot of termies, takes a lot of soldiers into the raid. I guess. That's that's very sensible. That's very intelligent. You're wrong. It's because Aww. the guy who discovered the STC is called Arkan Land. No, sh shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Stop it. The guy's... N is, mm -mm. But yeah, the guy's name is Land, so they called it the Land Raider. 
the it, dumbest it, thing I've ever heard. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so, it's stupid so bad. Thing I've ever heard. Why? I just every time. That's one of those things where I. I try and block it out, if anything. I try not to think about it, and then I'll just be minding my own business, and I'll suddenly remember that it's named after Ark and Land. And inwardly, sometimes, like, out loud, I'll be like, for God's sake. Just, <laughs> it's the equivalent of, like, well, well, why was it called the Bolter? Well, the uh, the guy who created it was called uh, Harold Bolt. Jeremy Bolt. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, his, his name his name was his first name was Bolt. His middle and last initials was E and R. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do That's... know that the that the Astartes are called the Astartes because the there's a lady biologist that worked with the Emperor. Her name was Astartes. <laughs> no, is that you're you're fucking me. No, that's yeah, that's, no, that's not that, that is actually yeah. No. That, that one is a lot less painful than the Land Raider, in my opinion. It though. is. It is. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I, I think Astartes is like enough of a enough of like a just a weird word that you can get away with it a bit more. But when the word is yeah. land and it's referring to a tank, there's just no. You, you can't. You can't be doing that. That's, that's no. not. It's not on. Who came up with that? Who came up with that? And how drunk were they? It's the same thing with Laz guns, actually, but. We don't talk about that. It's a set. What do you what What do you mean? It's the same oh. thing with Laz guns. Oh, please it's... don't tell me there's a guy named Laz. <laughs> oh no, no! I thought it was Laz. I can't tell. La Are you sure, no. Laz? Oh? I can't tell you if know, you're fucking I... with me or not. <laughs> no, I'm totally <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> oh, oh, thank, thank Christ! Jesus. Oh my God! <laughs> I just Holy wanted. Jesus. I just wanted. I, I just wanted to hear the the anger and the panic. <laughs> <laughs> but, like some some shit is okay. Like I mean, the Lehman Rust tank was named after the after Lehman Rust because the Space Wolves found it, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that makes sense. I heard yeah. they have a new guard tank coming out, and they're gonna call it like Rogel Dorn, and that just I don't know how I feel about that one. The Rogel Dorn. I I don't tank? like that. I I don't, I don't like, like it. that. It doesn't roll off the tongue at all. Like Lehman Rust tank sounds right. Rogel Dorn tank just sounds. Uh uh. To be yeah. honest, it's already confusing enough with the Lehman Russ tank now that Lehman Russ is available as a miniature. Like that's I, I already think that's <laughs> like we've already crossed into there's a genuine question if someone says, I just bought Lehman Russ, it's like are we talking Primark or tank? That shouldn't be an issue, but it is. Don't confuse it even more. Don't have more tanks named after Primarks. It's just gonna get massively, fastly confusing if we keep going with this. Yeah. Agreed. Next tank, Kiriath. Let's go. So there are, I'll just chuck these in. You can just giggle at them in your own time. The Land Raider Aggressor and Ares, both made by the Dark Angels. Yes, one of them does have a demolisher cannon and a shield on the front of it. <laughs> because oh wait, that's a Land Raider. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So again, a personal favourite. Um, Sponson mounted twin linked heavy flamer, assault cannon, demolisher cannon, and dozer blades. Oh my god, look at all the guns on the side of this thing, too. <laughs> what is, is that? Oh my god, did they, did the Dark Angels make a Heavy Bolter plus Hurricane Bolter Crusader? <sighs> I'm so sick of them putting a fucking gun in the front panel of these things. <laughs> <laughs> Every single variant oh, has so one. Good. I, I know so they can, it's not in the line of fire, because I know they could, I could, they could rotate, but I'm, I'm still mad about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a stupid design. Like, let's be honest, the, the main design for the Land Raider isn't it's okay but this takes it to a whole new level of daft because like at least with the the standard land raiders whether it's the the normal one the redeemer or the crusader like the sponsor weapons can rotate individually and they can fire off to each flank which is fine as soon as you stick another gun directly in front of them they just become worthless like it's just it's just bad design yeah. all round but that's why I find them as funny as I do because it's like why would anyone do this <laughs> you sat there and went I, yeah I, this is definitely a good idea I know it's probably the perspective of that second Land Raider you posted, but it looks like those guns would immediately fire into the dozer blade and just blow the tank up. It, it looks like they're it right kind in of line does with actually, yeah. <laughs> it just, it's like what happened? We fired the back gun. God damn it. <laughs> do you know? How, do you know how many of these you've blown through this week? Can you just stop, please? <laughs> Can you just angle the gun a little bit before you fire it. God. So the normal Land Raider has the, the the two twin Laz cannons and then like the heavy bolters and that that one looks okay. I can work yeah. with that one. That one's all right. 
It's it's when you start getting to these weird older like <laughs> older. I don't even know when some of these are even applicable. To be honest with you, um, some of them feel like they've been put together when they had vehicle design rules where you could kind of do your own thing for a bit. Some of them feel like that, but there's like official models of them, and it's like, when was this a thing, and why? Most importantly, before we shift over to uh, to the the new grav tanks that the primaries got access to. We have to quickly mention the classic Land Raider, which is the Land Raider Proteus, which uh, is based <laughs> off the old original that? Land Raider. <laughs> what the that's fuck the, is that? That's the new that's version treads. of that. Right? That's, the, that's new? Yeah, that's the new version of the original Land Raider. Um, oh, boy. Just, <laughs> so the, Those treads, holy shit. I think they like World War One. Yeah. Just, just an idea, you know, just a thought. Yep. Yeah, it's it's very. Uh, <laughs> the, th the thing is, it to be fair, they've done a good job modernizing what was otherwise a uh, very, very dated <laughs> model because that's the actual original that they've tried to make a new version of. Oh my god! <laughs> that was the it's first. That so was the Mark One Land Raider. Fat. <laughs> it's so fat. I right, look at the beaky. <laughs> Oh yeah, yo, Beaky. Yeah. He's got the Beaky. Hey, we're um, getting new Beakies soon. That's too. true. We're getting new Horus Heresy Beakies. But man, that looks like the worst design. Ta it looks like it'd be so easy to just blow off one link in those treads, and this thing is completely <laughs> fucked. It also looks like it would roll uncontrollably, for like onto its front or its back if it hit any sort oh, of yeah. any sort of hill. Oh, yeah. Small, little, rocky plateau, and this thing's just gonna roll forward onto its fucking face. Maybe that's how they used it. They charged it, then they slammed the brakes on so that it starts to roll forwards, and it just rolls through walls. Maybe that was the original I mean, idea yeah, behind it. Yeah, it does have it does have 360 degrees of tread, so if it did roll forward, it would just keep going and eventually roll back to upright, I guess. <laughs> self, It's like a self-writing tank, so it's fine. History near Th that's an actual tank. That oh my god, that's we're, a, that, okay. that's World War World War One days. Yeah, that, I, that's what I those didn't old realize tanks they look looked like. quite like that though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like the first the first tanks were pretty. They were pretty wild to be honest. The thing is though, yeah. that was like they weren't like good because no one knew what they were doing yet. But at least to mm. me, that looks like it's more, like that looks less likely to just roll over. Than the Land Raider. That's at least long, right? That's, it looks like it has I mean, a good amount of, uh, like a, oh, I don't know what the what the phrase is, where it's like got a good amount of contact with the ground. To be yeah, fair, yeah. though, the real one looks like it has so much more like, f it's like almost like uh, front heavy, and it looks more likely to fall over. To me, is that am I crazy? I I, like I think one little I think... blip, and it's just. And it just tilts over, right? I don't know, but I don't want to get too angry with the with the tank people because there's a lot of those in, in 40k. <laughs> and they, you know, they, at least we're not making well, fun of like the tiger. We are making fun of it, but it's it, this is like the era before anyone knew how to actually make a tank. This is like their their first real attempt at like uh, uh, tank warfare. So I mean, we're being harsh on them, but like at the time, I'm sure it was like a, a technological marvel, right? Also, I that'd mean, be terrifying if you saw that coming towards you and you'd never seen anything like it before. Like, what the, I think what the a, hell? I think it was a good part where it was like, yeah, it was very much in the line of like, hey, we gotta get through like no man's land because it's covered in mines, yeah, and crap. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, hey, here's a giant box that won't <laughs> that you won't die to. Like, yay, yeah. hey, tank. Shy said tank people. Oh yeah, good thing no one on this pod podcast right now owns like fifteen Lehman Russes. <laughs> I Tara. over. Uh, uh, Actually, that was me. Uh, oh, that's Bricky. Uh, it's, you I own fifteen both. Lehman Russes. I own, I own quite a few Lehman Russes. Yeah. I yeah, I'll okay. be honest. I also own quite a lot of Lehman Russes as well. <laughs> when you when you play cards, you need a lot of Lehman like, Russes. Really, you do? Okay. Oh yeah, you definitely well, do. Um, well, yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I mean, it it's... depends on what you're running, but I I, yeah. I do an armored company, so I only have Lehman Russes. I could take other tanks, but. Why would you? When the Lehman Russ exists and is the pinnacle of Imperial Guard tank design, outside of that massive <laughs> one that's got the flamer on it, which, <laughs> which none of what I've just said is true, but that's how I like to play the game, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fun. 
I was going to say, I thought it had to be Kiriath because I know Kiriath for two things. Tanks and knights. That's it. Uh, and uh, very interesting fact. facts on them. <laughs> that's, that's very Kiriath's fact. having a good time right now with his knights at this, <laughs> at this moment. There's some interesting oh, stuff yeah, coming out. Oh, yeah, the Chaos around. Knights. That's right. Oh, and the, just the, the new codexes are coming out. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm, yeah. I might be buying more knights. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I they might look, be, they, look, might pretty, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. They're not tearing it good, but they look pretty good. I mean, is anything tearing it good at the moment? <laughs> no, nothing is ever <laughs> fucking tearing it good. Anyway, what's what's what you got next for us? With these these fucking grav tanks? The yeah, we've ones? got we've got the uh, the primaris grav tanks. So Belisarius oh, so Cole showed up with anti grav and just slapped it all over vehicles, which I I'm personally not a fan. That the people people like them, that's fine. We've got the Impulsor, which is the kind of Rhino equivalent, sort of. It's got a limited transport capacity because they stuck a gun on the back of it. Um, it's also open top, so like I think everyone just sits in the back, like a pickup truck, but without wheels. Uh, then there's oh. the, the Gladiator, which is the Impulsor, but with more tank attached to it, with a slightly bigger turret and slightly better guns. Yeah, there's the Impulsor. It's, I, I it like looks the impulsor. Really cool, actually. I, I'm I'm I am a a grav tank fan personally. Um, I like I like the way the impulsor looks, though. In particular, the uh, I, I'm excited for when we get to the repulsor executioner because that thing just gives me a giggle. See, this is the Ooh. thing. I, I I'm not a fan of the impulsor. The gladiator is getting closer to the mark for me because it it just looks. Well, it looks like beefier and meaner and more heavily armored because it is because it's not got a, an open back. But it's the the best the best grav tank outside of the gigantic one from Forge World is the Repulsor and the Repulsor Executioner. And of the two of them, the Repulsor Executioner Whoa. is solid. That that's looks the, like that, a that's mini the, battleship. That's the repulsor, or that's the that's the Gladiator. Yeah, that's the Gladiator. It's I I think it's quite it looks it looks pretty cool. That is a cool. I think it's doing pretty well. I, I will admit the the open hatch on the back of the impulsor is a little bit bizarre, but the um, the repulsor executioner is like, ah, <laughs> it's, I, I, I I love this stupid fucking tank. It's so good. <laughs> it's so it's so good. I don't love the way the imperial fist one looks. Actually, it looks too much like a taxi cab. That's most Imperial Fists. Uh, it's, I suppose it, it, so. Most of their, their color is bright right? yellow. Yeah, and they've got a big Black Fist logo. I, I guess that's fair. So uh, yeah, man, these are cool. Oh, shit. They are. They are actually. They are actually pretty pretty solid. And the fact that there's two guns on the turret, yeah, it's something that I didn't think I would like when they first showed it off. But it's really grown on me. It looks it's very shocking. Over the top. The amount of fucking guns are on that thing. There's a there's like there's a common joke, DK, that when that uh, that tank came out, someone just edited this shit. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. gotta, gotta put on some guns. We'll add, we'll add some guns. Is I it bad about that, that when you when you first posted that, a part of me was like, oh yeah, that's probably an official tank. Um, I mean, the previous sense. Land Raiders has kind of ruined that now, hasn't it? In a way, <laughs> it's like they weren't that far bit. off that to begin with. <laughs> Like if that you is. if you look at the Ooh. data sheet for the repulsor executioner, it says the repulsor executioner is equipped with two frag storm grenade launchers, a heavy onslaught Gatling cannon, macro plasma incinerator, two storm bolters, twin heavy bolter, twin Icarus iron hail heavy subber, and auto launchers. And this unit can also take one iron hail heavy subber and one Icarus rocket pods. It's like wow. it's just a, like the shooting phase for that fucking tank is so long. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So, so, uh, Belisar is called just showed up and put a bunch of anti-grav shit on tanks? Is that, is that much, how these things got made? Pretty much, yeah. I don't know that there's ever been, like, I don't know whether they've ever confirmed that it's, like, an STL that he found, or whether he has been, like, innovating again, which he really shouldn't do, but then, <laughs> look what he's come up with. I think people, well, I say people, it seems to be, you know, they're letting him go, they're letting him do it, they're letting him get on with it, because he keeps bringing things like the Repulsor Executioner. And covering yeah. it in weapons, so Call, calls one of those weird guys and get away with that kind of shit because he's mm. uh, well, kind of get away with that kind of shit. Yeah, because that it would take a lot of power to like levitate one of these fucking tanks. Um, so that's got to be some crazy tech. If I remember right, it absolutely obliterates people if it goes over them. 
like the the field underneath oh. it just ruins stuff, which you'd kind of expect to be honest. <laughs> I mean, when you look yeah. at the state of it. Also, I'm, yeah, I, I, I sorry. Go on. I was just saying you have to like you have to levitate like like ten tons or something like with a force need to push down. I imagine it just rolls over someone that's going. <laughs> And that'd be a great way to just, you know, just storm forward as you're shooting. It's like, oh, we didn't kill him. Don't worry. We're about to run this fucker over. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what is this? This fucking Death Watch repulsor. Look at that shit. That is oh such a God. cool way to Whoa. make that model. God damn. Is that a turret That's... on top of the turret? Oh, that was already That's there. Awesome. Oh, okay. This, 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 this thing has so many guns. What the hell? hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's like it's painted very well and looks very cool though. But good lord, that's so many guns. Yeah. It's like the more you look at it, the more guns you see. Like, yeah. Even if, even if you know what it has by looking at the data sheet, you still like end up looking at it and going, "Oh no, that's where that weapon is." And then you find yes. another one just slightly above it, yeah. and it just goes on endlessly. The guy has a gun. There's a gun. There's the two. There's the Gatling gun under him. There's the main big old fucking tank gun. And then under that, there's like, what, two LAS guns? Are there any other guns that I'm missing on this thing? Is that, is that uh, a Gatling gun kind of sort of sticking out of the side? Or is the that, the, the left pod? right there is a, is a rocket launcher of some kind, or like a, like a oh, grenade launcher. There's also one to the, to the right-hand side. <laughs> oh, my God, there is. Think... Jesus Christ. Of course this is a rocket launcher. <laughs> Why wouldn't there <laughs> also, be? Also, I think... I think on the back, uh, behind those two antennas, those are actually two more guns sticking out of the backside. Oh my god, I thought that was I was just flourishes, but you you might be right. The, 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 it's the ones that are kind of uh, out of focus in the in the way back. Mm -hmm. It's it's really it's it's, it's something, all right. Yeah, it's something. It's, it's covered. <laughs> it's covered. Now the step up from that from uh, from that is the is the Astraeus tank. Oh, Which I was is... so happy! I was really excited we were going to talk about this one. Let's go! Yeah, it's the it's the Astraeus super heavy tank, which is <laughs> it's imagine like imagine the Repulsor, but mm -hmm. a gigantic turret on top with accelerator cannons on it, and the, it's it's gigantic. Oh. It's massive. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy sh wow, that is a that's a big boy. It's chunky. Holy shit! It's fucking enormous. Wow. Here, here, here's a here's a good a good um, reference. The tanks next to it are the repulsor executioner we just talked about. It is <laughs> wow, so that's huge. Oh Holy my god! Shit! It dwarfs those repulsors. It's fucking. Oh my enormous. god! Absolutely. I, I, I love the Astraeus. I it's. Honestly, like one of my favorite tanks. It's so dumb, and it's so great. Damn. Uh, do all those little are those plates on the side of? They just open up for troop transport, or it doesn't have transport capacity. It can't transport anything. What? It's just guns. <laughs> it's just oh, a massive, okay. just massive guns and a shield generator. <laughs> it's what you get on oh. that thing. Okay. It's, it's so. This is legit. It is. The main purpose, it's a battle tank. It's going into fuck. It looks like it could hold so many troopers, though. It, I, oh. That's the thing. It's so it's so gigantic. When they first revealed it, I was like, well, that's got to be that's got to be part transport, right? And then they were just mm -hmm. like, no. No, we don't have any of that. We've got <laughs> macro accelerator cannons, and that's what you're getting. Enjoy it. So, okay, we will. <laughs> we will enjoy oh, that. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, sure. Twin, yeah, it transports guns. Lots of guns. Big twin guns. Twin macro accelerator cannons. God damn it. It's the also got those plasma so eradicators on the sides as well. Yeah. Plus the heavy bolters. Plus, like, ugh. Or you can have this Laz Rippers. So rad. <laughs> yes, you can have Laz Rippers instead of the plasma. I, I actually unironically think this tank might be genuinely decent in the new meta. Um, cool. Like, like it's it's really rare when you get a tank that's that's this big that's actually good. Yeah. But mm -hmm. but this one in particular, uh, with having a two up armor, T eight and thirty wounds, and it also has uh, two full void shields and the new armor of contempt to remove one AP. I think this thing is actually a, le a legitimate fucking threat. And I think it'd be really fun if you rolled it with, like, iron hands. 
Oh my god! <laughs> just make it borderline invincible. Just, just floating just, around just the battlefield. A, throw a tech marine on it. Give it plus one a hit. Slap a slap the stratagems like the one that gives like a six up feel no pain uh, whatever. And then there's got the there's that one that's like mercy is weakness where you you auto wound or like you have double wounds or something. I bet this thing could be fucking disgusting. I kind of love how sleek it looks, actually, because like most of these, like uh, most of these tanks are like big, boxy, and thick. Um, but like the the Stray Super Heavy is kind of like sleek and slender. It looks it looks really good. It actually looks like, like super really modern cool design, like, yeah. especially compared to the especially compared to like the older Firstborn tanks, like the Rhino and the and the Land Raider and all of those. It looks super sleek compared to all of those. Yeah, it looks really modern, really sleek. I love it. I love that design. I think that's my favorite tank out of all of them so far, which I guess oh. probably isn't that big of a deal, but... Yeah. Oh, what the, what the fuck? Iron Hands can literally spend two CP to have this a vehicle re-roll all their hits. <laughs> oh my Dude, god. That's, wow. that's so good <laughs> with this thing. What the hell? Oh, what? Okay. All right. Oh. That's... <laughs> oh my. Oh no. I can feel a forge wheel purchase coming on here. Um. I, 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 I'm just, I'm just saying, man. This this thing's got some. It's got some bites. Question is, can you last guns. until the end of the recording to purchase it, or is it, is it going to be like a, a like a mid podcast buy? Forge wheel. Like, oh, so what do you think about that, Bricky? And it's just going to be dead silence and just furious keyboard typing. And yeah, like, Bricky. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. I just want to see how much it costs, okay? A lot. $600. Oh my God. Uh, not that much. 391 wow. Ooh, still. That's, that's still actually, that's less than, that's less than I would have guessed. A little same. Um, no, I mean, price no, rise, I really thought that would, that would have gone up quite a bit. It's 254 quid here. So that's, I think that's not that bad compared to what it, not that bad. <laughs> Still. Yeah, not that bad, you know, <laughs> overall. <laughs> compared to what expected. Why, why is the Legion Glaive a fucking $335? What's I the don't... Legion Glaive? Oh, we are getting to that, don't worry. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Cool, cool, cool. So anyway, we... we won't stick too long on the history. I just like, like this. I like this thing. Go ahead. Super cool, yeah. We're we're kind of like at the end of uh, of the of the 40k stuff for the most part. There is stuff that can be used in both horse heresy and 40k um and this is where some of like the really ridiculous designs and stuff comes out so depth is ridiculous <laughs> i should have damn it i missed it don't worry we got you we got you so the he's the, got the, you <laughs> <laughs> the first one is the uh, i can never say this arc architor arquit architor i don't know how to a R Q U I T O R. I don't know how to say it. I never it's have. The stupidest looking tank I've ever seen. They are weird. <laughs> they are super I hate weird. It. <laughs> so that's the that's the heavy bombard version. There's also one that somehow manages to get even weirder than that because it's also a bombard, but <laughs> with a massive grav gun strapped to the back of it. It's one of the weirdest designs they've ever done, this thing. What it's, does the grav gun do? I believe it uh, creates like a mini black hole, if I remember correctly. Oh, the the okay. grav gun, it's more powerful the heavier your like mass is. So I think it like turns the weight of the of the person against you. So like if you're wearing Terminator armor or something, it just like crushes you. Oh, okay. Uses gravity against you. What the fuck is that tank, though? Like, like, like genu seriously. genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically it, it looks like, like a one of those, chassis, but backwards. It, it looks like one of those like um, things that that they drive that have like oversized load on the back that used to carry rocket parts. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. It's yeah, so, so weird. Such a big fucking gun on the back. What the hell? It's I'm definitely like one of the weird the... ones. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to have the gun forward and not in the back, all tilted and I don't know. Well, I'm assuming it's artillery. Like... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's back of the battlefield artillery, but it's still. Yeah, okay. It's I think so it's the fact that it looks so close to the Sakaran. Like, the Sakaran is a great looking tank. That's that's something that is usable in both games, 
And the Sakaran is is one of the best looking tanks that they do. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What is, that the, is that the Sakaran shy? <laughs> <laughs> Doing the Sakaran dirty with that. <laughs> Accurate though. <laughs> God damn. All right, what's this car look like again? Oh, right, this one. Ooh. We saw this one a little bit in the uh, Horus Heresy trailer. Yeah, yeah. It's it's one of the, I think it's one of the best looking tanks they've done. It's, it, yeah. in a weird way, it looks a little bit more, like, I don't know, like, sleek than things like the uh, than the Rhino and the Land Raider. But it's, yeah, a, a massive, massive accelerator, auto cannon turret. Last cannons on the side. It looks. It reminds great. me a lot of uh, the Halo Scorpion tank. You know, it's kind of got like all the stuff situated in the back, front tr like treads go up forward, and the big top turret on the thing. You know, kind of kind of reminds me of that, and that's probably one of the reasons why I like it. It's very, uh, you know, the Scorpion tank always felt at least somewhat grounded in reality to an extent. Yeah, I'd not I'd not made so that connection cool. before, but yeah, it actually it does. It is quite reminiscent of that, isn't it? Also, this is this is fast for what it is, <laughs> given it's a battle tank. It's like yeah. seventy four kilometers an hour on a road. <laughs> it's faster it's, than the Rhino. Yeah, it's just terrifying. It's, it's quite a bit. Is it smaller than the Rhino? Like quite a bit, or is it still pretty gigantic? It's no, I think it's much larger it's than the bigger Rhino. than the yeah. It's bigger than oh. the Rhino by quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know why, but when I saw a picture of it, I was thinking like, um, I was thinking like. It was like a, a sort of like a fighter tank that was like smaller and only held one person and it could like move really quick. Um, so you could have like squadrons of these things, kind of like fighter jets for the land. Um, but oh, never mind. They're gigantic. Okay. They still they look really the, cool though. They do. The they classic uh, Sherman style. No? Sherman? The, the Sherman. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's. So <laughs> I was just waiting for the right time to <laughs> drop that in. So, that's that's the Sakaran Punisher, which has just got a massive rotary cannon on it, which is, I think, one of the... I, I don't know, like that's a 50-50 to me on stupid and awesome. I think that's like, that, that's like the perfect mix. I think my issue with it is that it could so easily have the gun placed like in the front... Where the heavy bolter yeah. is, or, or or like they could find some way to probably do that instead. That's but they, they have it, they have it hanging yeah. off the side <laughs> by a tiny little like belt fed mag and this little handle. Like that handle gets shot and you're fucking done. It looks like, weirdly thing is janky, doesn't it? It's like they haven't, they didn't plan it. They, they just had the gun yeah. and went, oh shit, uh, uh, j just just hang it off the top. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> and then that's what they did. God damn it, it looks like the it looks like the tank is giving the uh the rotary gun a hug, just like this is my best friend. Mm. <laughs> it's yeah, like he's a got hand over his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, this is my best friend. Oh wow, what's that? Uh, what is that? What that's, is the, that? <laughs> that's the tank hunting var variant, which has got a neutron laser projector sticking out of the hull. <laughs> now, you see, the thing is, I pulled that up because you mentioned putting the rotary cannon like where the heavy bolter is. They did that for this tank. Yeah, so, they did. <laughs> why they didn't they do, it do it for the other one? <laughs> Would have been so great if they did that for this big ass fucking neutron cannon. Just have it hanging on by a little my best friend arm, you know. Be consistent, GW. The, Come yeah. on. This is the Ven the Venator, right? Yeah. Or Venator. Yep. Designed purely Wait. for just murdering murdering other other tanks. That's all it can do. But it I, looks I didn't solid. Play a, I didn't play a lot of um, World of Tanks, but it reminds me of like the tank destroyers. There's the big front-facing gun that you fire from like really far away. Yes. Um, oh, is it the Hertzer? Is it called? I forget. I forget the. I forget the names of them. But I don't remember. Hertzer, All I, they could, I hardly they knew her. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's the? Uh, do you have an image of the Sicarian Omega? I want to see that plasma array. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I. I I, I I was just about to put that in. That is also one of the best. I mean, look look at that. Oh, oh what oh, the fuck is oh. that? <laughs> look at it. Look at it. It's so good. It's so, so good. stupid. 
<laughs> what what did you say those guns were by the by uh plasma eradicators oh omega <laughs> plasma array yep <laughs> omega plasma array holy shit and just in case those don't work there's a little there's a little gun on the side too you know just in case and just a little bitty bolter sticking out the front, just in case, just in case. You've always you got to have, you always have to have a last cannon. No matter what the tank is, <laughs> you always need a last cannon. That's that's pretty much, the I think, the foundation of every Space Marine vehicle. It's like, is it complete? No, because it doesn't have a last cannon on the side. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> do that, and then it's good to go. So are, the, are those basically just two giant fuck-off laser cannon array things is that what they shoot out just fucking giant fuck off lasers two they're, massive uh, plasma cannons yeah they're plasma okay gotcha um did what's the new horus heresy model that just got a, a plastic that would be this which is the spartan so oh the spartan like That's a, a land raider war, isn't it? massive Huh. That looks alright. The, the, the Spartans, a lot, well, the, the new, the new Spartan, uh, I think it looks a lot better. It's got um, some, it's got some differences. I think there's like some added detail and stuff on the plastic one they showed off. Um, there we go. But yeah, that's the one. It, it looks you a know, little like I don't know, maybe it's just the color or I don't know. You know, it, it, look, it looks, it looks fine. It looks good. But after going from, like, the stuff we just talked about with all those big fuck-off cannons to just, like, oh, yeah, look at the big tank with treads. Oh, well, it's okay, because they do also do the Cerberus version of the <laughs> of, of the Spartan. Oh, God. <laughs> now I feel, we're I feel talking. Like, I feel like you could take every every single tank that you've, that you've got here, and then you just have a version that has a big fucking dick gun sticking out of the front. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's like... You're, you're gonna show you're gonna show me something really simple. God damn it, shy. Oh, that God, one's got God a little shit. bit of a, oh, no. of a head sticking out. <laughs> you got you got some, so, there's some joke about Warhammer fans and compensation here where yeah. it's like, hey, here's the Land Raider <laughs> and here's the Land Raider Penetrator. It's got like a fucking laser destroyer in the front. <laughs> oh, the you have complete... Spartan is such a derpy. It really guy. is. I don't even think that's an official model. I think that's a kit bash. Of uh, to make one. Oh my god! Even the painting, it looks like a psychopath <laughs> with a dirty face. What is that? That's amazing. Uh, that, that's that's some guy who converted a uh, a Spartan into a corn version, but it just it looked like a penis, so I wanted to put it. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? And it's really well done, though. But holy shit! It is. That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I said, God damn. Uh, what's? And there's oh, also god. the Typhon. Oh, wow. Which is again based off the Spartan chassis, but it's got um, it's got another thick gun. <laughs> it's it's yeah, like it's, it's like the Demolisher cannon off the Rhino, but it's way way bigger. It's called the Dreadhammer cannon, which is <laughs> the stupidest name of all of them, to be honest. Yep. Where, I don't know. Some, some, put some that of the Bane fuck played. off cannon, right? Like, you well, I don't know. They they held one up there earlier, like a hug. <laughs> You're right. They did. They could. Yeah, it's, just put it on top. The the, ty the Typhon <laughs> walked around, you know. Has been just been just been having too many drinks at the bar, and then finally someone attractive walks in. It's like whoa, basilisk time. <laughs> <laughs> Is the basilisk the one that fires the ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, or whatever? Uh, no, that's the death strike. Oh, so close. So close. The 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 basilisk is the earth shaker, but that's a guard thing. Oh, okay, got you. I remember. I, I I think we talked about the Earthshaker at some point. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. Oh, okay. there are there are Legion versions of them. So the Basilisk and the Medusa, which is another like bombardment type tank, there are like Horus Heresy versions that are Space Marine as opposed to Imperial Guard, but they are basically the same. Except I think they use the Rhino chassis instead of the Chimera one. So it's like the same tank, but with a slightly different track setup, and that's it. It's like it's cool. Not massively interesting, <laughs> so I was just yeah. like, "Yeah, the we're actually we're, we're near we're near the end of of the tanks. We've got two Bane Blade variants because Space Marines had their own Bane Blade variants uh, during the Horus Heresy. Um, so <laughs> again, oh, massive oh my guns. god, <laughs> just massive guns. <laughs> oh 
those are so, oh my god. Wait, so oh, wait a minute. What's what's the name of the bottom one, the World Eaters one? So that's the Fell Blade is the World Eaters one. And the uh, and the the Sons of Horus one is the Falchion, which is just a super heavy tank destroyer. It is it's got wow. it's got like two quad las cannons. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Definitely Christ. overcompensating for something. Uh, <laughs> two accelerator cannons, a demolisher cannon, and and two quad las cannons. Jesus oh my Christ. god! What's the top one? So the top one is the uh, is the Falchion super heavy tank destroyer, which Falchion. has just got two. It's got um two volcano cannons mounted to it. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Shy Sh yeah. says I've been playing Red Alert. That's the mammoth tank. The mammoth tank is not a Red Alert. Shy, that's in yes, in Tiberium Wars, you son of a bitch. Yeah, Shy, you <laughs> big <laughs> dummy. Everybody How dare knows you? that. Everybody Hello. knows that. Everybody. I certainly knew that. He <laughs> knew it. Yep, I sure did. <laughs> he didn't know And it. now we're fired. <laughs> New hosts that, next week, then. <laughs> not that currency really matters in 40k, but, like, how much does it cost to build these fucking things? Like... It's got to be these things like these things got to be like billions of dollars to make. They are like Something. massively resource heavy, and I don't think you can even, as far as I know, like the the STLs for these things is gone, like they're lost. I don't think they can make any oh. more of them now, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think I, that these are um, these are these are Horus Heresy yeah. vehicles, so it's like yeah. ten thousand years ago. Oh, so they couldn't make more of these even if they wanted to. And let's face it, you'd want to make more. You absolutely oh, sure. would. Oh, yeah. Damn. All right, <laughs> Again, all right. slammed with Mammoth all right, Tank. Try. <laughs> okay, that Red Alert 3 one is a, is a mod. That's not a real one. That was an April Fool's joke. But the Red Alert 2 and, and 1 ones, I, I, I may have been... I may have been... I may have been had. I, I may yeah, have been wrong. Ricky, everybody knows that. I may Idiot. Have, I'm, I, I am... I am a dumb, dumb doo doo Jesus head, and I Ricky, apologize. Hello. I didn't even I twig knew, what that I final that. mammoth tank was. <laughs> I didn't even see what it was. I just sort of said mammoth tank red alert three, and I didn't it's think a, any more of it. And it's an actual it's mammoth. A, it's a mammoth. mammoth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I don't like being being had like this. <laughs> embarrassing, Bricky. Now How? now, Kiriath, did you say that was the last tank? Oh no. No, there's there's we something that we more, need to right? cover. There's there's two more we need to cover, and this oh, will hopefully make up for all of the mammoth stuff, because this is the mastodon, and it's my absolute yes! favorite. I was hoping we were getting to the Whoa! mastodon. Let's go! I We've love gotta this save the best for thing. last, right? <laughs> that I is a suitable name. Whoa! It's this so thing, that's big. huge. What the it's fuck? <laughs> it is massive. <laughs> Holy shit! That looks like uh, you, you took the what is it the uh, Astraeus super heavy and you just poofed, you just thickened that shit up. Holy god! <laughs> so it's, it's a gigantic fucking transport. Whoa! Again, okay, covered so this in one guns, is actually obviously. A, a, a troop transport. Oh, that that front just opens up and everybody just comes flooding out. Yep. Oh, it's, that's rad, actually. It is badass. I think it's it's. <laughs> I would say it's definitely one of the more stupid models they've done, just because. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, look at it. It's like a giant tracked truck, which for some reason looks no nothing like any of the other tanks. Right? There's nothing else nothing. that looks even close to this. So why they went this direction for this, I don't know. But but it's like it is peak 40k. It's stupidly big. It has double tracks on either side. It is absolutely covered in literally every weapon you can think of. There's last <laughs> yeah, cannons on it. There's heavy flamers. There's a melted cannon on the front. It's got anti-air built into it. Like it's it's so dumb. I absolutely love it. I would one hundred percent have one. <laughs> I would totally have one. Unfortunately, it's also uh, Forge World and entirely resin, and uh, it's intimidating. So I've seen it in parts. I've seen it up close and personal, in pieces. And uh, yeah, I <laughs> I would get someone else to build it. I would not go anywhere near it. So, how many troops is this big honka honka uh, able to carry? 
Because that looks like you would be able to transport a lot. So there's like, it's, it's like forty. Uh, yeah, it says, it, wow. says four, it says forty on the on the thing. Damn. Can it? Uh, I'm assuming it could hold termies if it really wanted to. Yes, I think yeah. Terminators are jump packs, Wolfen Terminator models take up the space of two models, so it could hold twenty Terminators or and oh. possibly two dreadnoughts. <laughs> Damn. Using it to deliver two dreadnoughts thing. is that's that is like that's some five head shit. I love that. That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> I actually really, really like this uh this model personally. I just think it's I just think it's really fucking cool. It is. Yeah, it really it's, is. It is peak forty K. It's super over the top. Like it 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 just looks so heavily armored. Like it doesn't yeah. look like it needs void shields. But it it still has them, which just is like an added layer of this transport is so massive that it mm. it can shield itself from incoming fire. It's so good. It doesn't look like you could take this thing down. Like anything short of like orbital bombardment, and this thing is going to be able to withstand it. It looks so beefy and cool. I love it. I love that shit. It just looks I, I just realized that this that this that this model is, is toughness nine. It's very rare to find a Toughness 9 model in this game. There's like maybe five, and most of them are Titans. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it's solid. It's so good. I absolutely love it. So the last Damn, one, cool. though, is... Uh, it's I, <laughs> I was debating putting this in, but you've got to see it. Not really a thing that you can that you can get hold of. It's the Capital Imperialis, which is... <laughs> oh, this thing. <laughs> I know about this thing. A fortress on tracks. <laughs> That's <laughs> even looks like it was made out of brickwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's actually been quite a like not a huge amount written about them, but they've come up a fair number of times. Like it, there's even stuff about um <laughs> I made a note of this because it made me laugh when I read it. In the Siege of Terror, the Thousand Sons used one to assault the Imperial Palace. And uh, and when it nearly got destroyed, Magnus the Red froze it in time and then threw it at the wall so it could explode <laughs> there. That's, that, that's, that's more of a... Uh... That's more of an impressive statement for Magnus than it is for anything it's, else. I mean, yeah. look at the size of it. <laughs> it's so, Whoa, so, it's... Holy shit. I didn't realize it was that. Like, the, the, from the it, picture you showed and the, the, the first one Shy showed, I was like, oh, okay, these are, like, kind of stubby. No it's an actual cathedral. Yeah, it's, it's it, it 80 is, meters long and 50 meters tall, <laughs> and it weighs 67,000 tons. It's an apartment could, could building on those, shreds. Could you give me those measurements in American, please? Oh no! I'm, I, uh... <laughs> I'm I'm stupid, smooth brain. I don't that they mean nothing to me. Oh, there we uh, go. That's that's a great that's a great graphic. <laughs> oh so wow! Holy, fucking... they're so <laughs> massive! Oh my god! Jesus! If I'm, the if attempted I'm... scale of that thing is what the fuck? If I'm unmistaken, the first red thing on the left is an imperial knight. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a nice. Yep. Yep. Oh my <laughs> god. It's very big. So that tank rolling out from that one picture is like a full ass big ass tank. That's not like a mini tank. That's not like a little Oh god, these things are holy shit. It's ridiculous. It's like uh, you can see why they haven't made a model of it though, can't you? <laughs> I mean, how would you yes. even go about it? What would you do? <laughs> it is the map. It covers the map. They haven't even Whoa. made the uh, an Emperor class Titan yet. I think. Oh, well, mind you, you know, maybe they should. Maybe that should be uh, next year's Warhammer Fest reveal. A full, a fully, <laughs> a fully plastic <laughs> capital Imperialis. Wow! I can't believe the Mastodon is the same amount of points as the Thunderhawk gunship. <laughs> yeah. We haven't talked about the Thunderhawk gunship, but we'll do that in like a flyer episode. I'm sure. Oh, Why definitely. Why would you use something like this? Well, I don't think there's a model for no. it. Yeah, or there's any rules like, at all. Just in, in 40k, though, when when would you roll this thing out? Intimidation? So it's, it's, it's a rolling city. 
where it's been mentioned, it's like mostly kind of defensive stuff because it's massive and slow and unwieldy, and it has like six void shields because it's <laughs> because of the, si- the the size and weight of it. Um, but it's like it's not great for offensive because of how slow and ridiculous it is. Oh yeah. So yeah. adept is ridiculous, you could say. So it's Bubble it's bow. like a defensive thing. Slipped it in at the end. Not the first time I've heard. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we haven't even talked about the gun on it. <laughs> Which is, I mean, look at the <laughs> shy. The Behemoth cannon is so large that four Lehman Ross battle tanks could fit within its barrel. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? The concussive force of fire and loading can produce a mushroom cloud and shake the earth itself. It's that, that that's that's to the point where they've gone so far that they're just like yeah I, it's we know it's dumb and and doesn't make any sense but we just don't care anymore yeah, yeah we're gonna yeah. lean into it yeah we Jesus can't reel this Christ. in to be in any way believable so we're just gonna go all the way and have a yep. gun that causes earthquakes <laughs> holy shit uh, that is that is that is oof boy that is that is ridiculous that is adeptus ridiculous that's. Ooh-wee. It looks stupid as hell, though. To be fair, it looks really dumb. <laughs> it really does. Like the little, the little. Um, I, I believe it's an epic model that that uh, <laughs> that is on there. It's like, it's like a. What's the nicest way to put this? It's like a product of its time. Before they started to get like really highly detailed and started to, like really mm-hmm. nail some of the more complex stuff, it it looks it looks old. It looks pretty dated at this point. <laughs> yeah, it really does. It's old school 40k. But that's that Damn. is the uh, that is the last the last tank that I've got no. for you today. Of all the ways to end. That's the well, best way just... to end. That's that's the most I, I ridiculous know. bullshit I've no, ever I seen. Know. I know. It's, it's a gigantic <laughs> apartment building on shreds. It really is. <laughs> Looks like it's made out of stone. Yeah, I love it. I really want to buy an Astraeus. Do it. Do it, I thought Ricky. you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna it, say Ricky. a mastodon, and I like. I, I also I mean, want to buy a mastodon, but I will have someone else uh, build that for me. How much? How much is it? That's the question. Because if they're similar prices, I mean, oh, oh right, no, forget that. <laughs> they're not similar prices at all. I'll t- see, I take see, that that's back. The, that's the thing. The thing though is that the mastodon is like eight hundred points. It's it's enormous and it's insane. But the the Astraeus is six hundred, and, and and like that is a lot, but. With what it does, there there is a there is a genuine possibility that this thing could actually do some real shit in the in a in a tabletop scenario. Gonna gonna get this thing bought. Gonna get this thing uh, uh, commissioned, and I'm gonna take it to my next tournament. And bada bing, Hell bada yeah. boom. It's like the Salamander's Astraeus is coming. It's more feasible. It makes it makes it makes a bit more sense than <laughs> than mild. Yeah, more sense. <laughs> Maybe maybe the uh, word sense is doing a bit of like heavy lifting there. It's doing a, quite a lot of heavy lifting. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, goddamn. I I want I want it to be known that tank and then tank with large penis gun sticking out on the front is is what I took away from this episode. Oh yeah. The aesthetic is a big penis gun tank, yeah. Yeah, there's there's definitely uh there's definitely like there's definitely a trend when it comes to a lot of the, a lot of this stuff. It's just what what could we do differently? Massive guns sticking out the front? But sure. We'll just Jeez. apply that to literally everything we've ever made. I somehow imagine like uh the, the, the meeting for this is like, guys, we need to come up with something new for the tank. What should we do? And it's like that meme where the one guy's like, maybe we don't put a giant penis gun on the front, and they throw him out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, and then what, some what other guy's we... like, oh, let's do a giant penis gun. Hooray. Ugh. Well, I'm glad that we all have our penis guns ready and willing. I'm going to get mm-hmm. to buying my, our, buying us a goddamn Astraea super heavy tank now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to... already. I'm I I'm considering it. We'll figure if it out. If that's all that if that's all that comes out of 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 this episode, then I'll I'll be happy. That'd be me sorted. It's, so long as it stays proper, because the moment because I have a feeling at the moment this right right now with the new armor of contempt and shenanigans adjustments, it might actually end up being somewhat usable. So we'll find out. <laughs> but we will see. 
Uh, any anything else, Kiriov? Anything else you want to show or, or mention before before we wrap it up? That is that is pretty much that is pretty much every tank the Space Marines have. There are a few other things that are like different versions of Rhinos that, but it's like different marks of Rhino. So it's that's pretty much the best and like the best and brightest and dumbest that they have to <laughs> offer. I realize the Land Raider featured quite heavily, but for some reason Games Workshop just went mental with the Land Raider for for a while there and I don't know why they did but I'm glad they did because I feel like that informed quite a lot of the uh especially the horse heresy stuff with the whole just you know stick a dick on it and then send it out I feel it like I feel like that's that's <laughs> kind of where that was born Oh my god the Astraeus can fly <laughs> That's well, right yeah, doesn't it doesn't have the anti grab It's got anti grab on it? yeah. yeah Oh yeah. my god Bricky's already bought one. It's it's confirmed. I'm gonna oh go. I'm gonna go straight to Twitter after this to see to see images of the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Holy Listen, shit! I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Are you actually gonna say something other than you're just saying? I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm just I'm, saying I have I'm, I'm, clicked I'm, 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 purchase. I have clicked the purchase button. And ah, this well episode done. Needs, this episode needs to end before there are any. There's any uh, genuine, <laughs> genuine <laughs> like <laughs> ev evidence for it. Um, Kiriath, where can they find you, my friend? Shut yourself yeah. out. So I am on YouTube at Kiriath TV, and I just talk about 40k and do lots of hobby stuff, especially making monstrosities. Um, there is a video that went up not that long ago that I think probably does a decent job explaining why I get hung up on doing vast amounts of tanks or dreadnoughts or knights. I think it I think it's a, a good like primer for just the absolute insanity that happens when I start taking plastic out of boxes. So yeah, that's that's the main place where I show up, and I reckon probably with Warhammer Fest coming up. It's going to be a load of stuff to look at, and it's going to be really fun. And I'm kind of hoping that we can do something with that after the fact at some point. That would be cool. That would be a lot of fun. Just hoping. Uh, DK, I don't really care where they can find you. Or, they can or, find me right here. Wow. They, they can find me here. This, this, is, this is the only place oh where God. I do stuff that matters. My YouTube, dead. Twitch, it might as well be dead, but I still hang out there. Doesn't matter. You can find me here. That's it. Wait, look at look at the look at the capital Imperialis that Shy has. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I it's took so a sip sad. of drink when you put it up there and now I'm dying. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I still have it's COVID. So Alright. Let's get let's, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs>